I once read an interview where a very successful curator of ideas and inspiration and media was asked, what is the future of your organization? And what he said was really interesting. He said, look, the world is changing so fast. We ourselves are being transformed by our day-to-day -day experiences that to pretend to have a map, to pretend to know where we're going, is kind of a joke. He said, here, we use a compass. We don't use maps. And so what he's saying is essentially that he is relying on intuition. He is relying on perhaps what some might call spirit to guide us, right? And I've asked myself this question often because a lot of my... A lot of my anxiety, a lot of my worry often comes from not knowing what I want next, not knowing exactly where I'm going, ex not having an exact map <laughs> to lead the way. And so there's no real anchor, there's no real commitment to anything per se. And so on the one hand, you think, well, isn't this what freedom is all about? What I crave is to feel free, but freedom also can cause vertigo. Freedom can be paralyzing. The freedom of too much possibility is a kind of schizophrenia, right? Whereas the paralysis of too little possibility is existential depression. The walls are either caving in, or if there's no walls at all, we are equally overwhelmed and torn apart. Abraham Maslow says that we love to entertain our own godliness, but we also shiver at the godlike possibilities within ourselves. It's a lot to handle to consider that we are seemingly capable of anything, yet faced with the fact of our own finite nature, the fact that we are housed in a heart-pumping, breath-gasping, decaying body is the crux of the human condition. Paul Tillich wrote the book, The Courage to Be. Where do we find the courage to be amidst such uncertainty amidst such fear and anxiety, there is also so much ecstasy, the ecstasy of possibility, right? Everything we want is on the other side of fear, but how to get over that fear, right? Some of us, some people tell us, just breathe through it, just jump into it, right? And I think that there is a point to that. At the end of the day, it is through an act of surrender, it is through an act of faith perhaps, that the answer lies, right? In the movie Black Swan, they say perfection is not just about control, it's also about letting go. <laughs> As Jamie Wheel says when he talks about getting into the flow state, aha, you remember what you forgot. We all know that when we let go, when we actually surrender, when we take that leap of faith, that is the space of grace and gratitude and bliss. That is the space of ecstatic well-being and ecstatic revelation in which all becomes clear. And so what do we do <laughs> the next morning, right? When that bubbling anxiety, that fire in the belly threatens to make itself apparent again. Breathe through it. Let go. Dive in. The answer is love. The answer is yes.